Hey guys, what is up? It is Kflux here and I'm bringing you my first video on this channel and before I like to go ahead and talk about what I'm going to talk about I'd just like to say that if you're using an AMD card you ain't gonna be able to do this it's an NVIDIA only thing so if you have an NVIDIA 600 and 700 series you'll be able to do this just fine 500 series or laptop GPUs you ain't gonna be able to do it so I'm sorry about that but let's get started um, what the program is is NVIDIA Shadow Play now NVIDIA Shadow Play allows you to record your game by accessing the GPU's cores now it doesn't make any sense and the reason why it doesn't is because DX Tori and Fraps are companies that record your games but they don't know the graphics cards they don't know them as well as the actual manufacturers do like nvidia so nvidia can really unlock all the power of these graphics cards and uh, kind of cash that and get you your gameplay so i didn't believe it for myself go have a look do your research it's actually amazing like i only dropped like one or two fps and in this gameplay as well i didn't bother to go and get any kills or go into a domination 64 man server because i just felt like this recording software records in 1080p at 60 fps or 1280 by 720 i'm not too sure about that since i've only been recording at 1080p but regardless of all that it's an amazing program that nvidia released and i think that it's a step in the right direction because a lot of people who buy the higher end cards they really suffer in FPS especially when recording with DX Torium Fraps even like me I had a one terabyte hard drive off to the side 7200 RPM caviar black to the side to put all my recording stuff on and even though I had this external hard drive that was doing nothing at 7200 RPM I was still lagging I was getting about 120 FPS on 1080p auto and then I was dropping down to about 50 or 40 FPS and that's not something you want it really just degrades the whole experience of playing the game and you really want you know the max fps that you can get and when i was recording with this my default one is 1080p and i record at auto and i get about 120 fps and in a commentator's eyes that's the best fps that you can get you know anything over 60 is perfect because you're gonna get smooth gameplay all the time and you're not gonna bother with getting lag spikes and stuff like that but not that many people know about this and i was kind of shocked but anyway for my first video i thought i'd keep it informative um so go ahead download this software knock yourselves out um i'd hope to see more commentators using this software i know a lot of the big ones use them but it's only a matter of time that the smaller commentators you know who have not the best pcs they can also use this program and really unlock all the power of their computers but this has been Kflux and my next video is going to be about my graphics cards, the 650 Ti boost in the SLI configuration because I know a lot of people are interested in them cards, you know, they go for about £120 a piece and I've got two of them, £240 and I still get 60 to 70 FPS on Ultra so I'll be reviewing them next. But for now just please subscribe and you'll see more videos of me hopefully daily. Uh, but that's it, thank you guys for watching.